In question 15, we have to determine which of these measurements is the best estimate of this volume in the container. Let's start by marking off or highlighting the liquid in the container. And let's copy that to find out how many of these volumes does it take to fill up to the one liter mark. So let's put that one in there. And we can keep going. Another one there, we're getting there. And perhaps one more will do it. There we go. Okay, so from here to here is one liter capacity. We know that from that mark right here. And it took four of the initial volume. There's one, two, three, four to fill up to the one liter mark. So our initial volume, which is this volume down here, represents one quarter of a liter, one of the four parts. So our best estimate here is that this volume is one quarter of a liter. But if we look at the options, they're given in decimals or numbers. So how do we convert this fraction into a decimal or equivalent? Okay, so we'll take the one quarter liter. And if we divide four into one, we'll end up with decimal two five liters. Okay, let's start looking at the options. Well, the only one here in liters is the first one, which is 0.5 of a liter. Well. We, our estimate's 0.25 of a liter, so we know that that's not one of the options. Now, the other options are given in deciliters and milliliters, so we're going to need to convert this 0.25 liters into these units. Well, let's make a table. We know that if we go from liters, the next one down is deciliter, then it's centiliter, and then milliliter. Okay, so let's take our 0.25 liters and we'll stick it right here, 0.25. So to go from liters to deciliters, I move the decimal place one unit to the right. So I'm going to take this decimal and move it over one unit to the right, and I'll end up with 2.5 deciliters. And if I want to go from liters to centiliters, I go one, two spaces. So I move this decimal two places, one, two to the right. And that would give me 25 centiliters. And finally, if I want to go from liters to milliliters, I go over one, two, three places. So I take this decimal and I move it over one, two, three places. Now if I do that, if I went over one, two, three places, you'll notice that there is a space right here. So to fill in that space, we use zero as a placeholder. So this would become two, five, zero milliliters. So 0.25 liters is 2.5 deciliters, is 25 centiliters, and is 250 milliliters. So if we look down our list of remaining options, we can see that the third one is the right answer. The best estimate for the volume in the container is 250 milliliters.